Hey guys, it's Kat and welcome back to my channel. Today we are talking about dealing with all the clutter around your room and how to make your room just seem a little bit more minimalist, I guess. For this video, I'm talking more about the clutter that you can see, not necessarily the drawer clutter. When you walk in your room and you can see your desk, you can see your dresser, you can see your bed, all of that clutter to make it look clean and organized. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you enjoy. If you are new here, I'd love to have you as a subscriber. I do a lot of organization and cleaning videos, and I've also been getting really into health and fitness videos and like workouts in the gym and at home workouts. So I'll have that playlist linked down below as well if you're interested in that. And let's get started. So step one is to take a big basket and go around your room and just put all the stuff in it, like all the little loose items that are just hanging out around your room. And then you can go sit on the floor or put it on your desk and start sorting through it. And you wanna make two piles. So one pile will be decor pieces and then the other pile will be objects that actually serve a purpose. So you can go through all of your decor pieces, figure out maybe there's some stuff you want to give to a friend or a sibling, maybe some stuff you can just throw away, and maybe, stuff, and maybe some stuff you want to donate and can go to somebody who will really love it. Like I feel like when I'm looking at all my decor, it's like, it's also cute, I want to keep it all. But just remember, if you do have a bunch of pieces on a service, it takes away from the specialness. Is that a word, specialness? It takes away from the pieces themselves. So pick one or two, put them there, and then you can put the rest in a box and put the box in storage. And then when you wanna change out your decor, you can always do that. It'll also kind of feel like you're doing a room makeover when you switch out your decor, but it's no money because you have all the pieces already in your house. When tackling the pile of things that maybe have an actual purpose, ask yourself, do you actually use this item? If you do, keep it. Figure out a place to put it in your room because if it's serving a purpose for you, then it makes sense to have it in your room. For example, say you have five throw blankets on your bed. Maybe you don't need that many. One or two will probably serve the same purpose and it won't look as overcrowded. So what I did is I got this box from TJ Maxx. It was like $25 and you can put all your extra blankets in there. You can literally just get a bag and stuff the extra ones under your bed and again just like with the decor pieces you can kind of switch them out when you feel like you want a new throw blanket and kind of give your room a different feel one more tip that i have for you guys is if you have a bunch of products on your desk or your dresser that you don't want visible to everybody what i found was this little carrier from the dollar tree that has an awesome handle so i just slid it under my desk and it's super accessible but nobody can see it it's possible to keep this stuff and not throw it away but not have a bunch of stuff all over your room so that when you're actually hanging out in your room and spending time there, you're not gonna like feel crazy because there's not stuff everywhere. All right guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it got you inspired to go clear out your room and like the visual aspects of it. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, let me know in the comments. Comment helpful if you see this part of the video. That's what you should comment. And I love you guys and I will see you in my next video. Bye. That's my girl.